Hey everyone, uh, welcome in this AWS Technical Essential Lab. In this lab, one introduction to AWS Identity and Access Management. You will learn how to master AWS Identity and Access Management. I will show you exactly how IAM helps you control access and permissions for all your AWS services. You will get in uh, hand-on experience adding users to groups, managing passwords, logging in as users with different permissions and uh, seeing uh, the real world uh, effects of IAM policies. Let's dive in. To start the lab, we have to launch the lab. So uh, it may take uh, one to two minutes to start the lab. And in this uh, environment, we will uh, have uh, uh, the steps and the activities that need to perform uh, in this lab. So uh, it will take around three minutes to start. So uh, this lab, uh, uh, is having two main tasks. Uh, the first one that is explore IAM resources and uh, the second one that is IAM, uh, use the IAM sign-in URLs and uh, uh, there are 62 activities to perform to complete the lab and also uh, the objective of this lab. The objective of these labs are uh, to explore IAM users and groups, inspect IAM policies applied to the groups, follow a real world scenarios that adds users to groups and explore user permissions, and then locate the user, the, uh, locate and use the IAM sign in URLs, and then experiment with policies and service access. So, the uh, core thing is uh, here, there, here, there are uh, three users. And then there are three groups, three users, user one, two, and three, where are three groups, S3 support, uh, AC2 support, and AC2 admin. So uh, we are going to uh, see the current state of current these users and then uh, assign those users to different services with that is having certain uh, permissions. So uh, let's wait for a while to uh, initiate the lab. The provisioning of AWS services is about to complete. It's around 99% now. Uh, after that, we are going to open the uh, console so we can uh, perform the tasks. Right. So the lab is ready and uh, then there is open console is activated. We have to open the console. So we'll have uh, AWS uh, environment. The first thing that is we uh, for the task one we, that we are going to see the IAM policy IAM service to see which users are there and uh, what are their rights and permissions and all right so for that we are going to write IAM here and uh, we can access the service and then in this IAM service we are going to see the users here we can see there are user 1, user 2 and user 3, 3 users are there and uh, obviously uh, when we see the user, uh, here we can see permissions, there is no nothing associated with that and if we want to see the security credentials then we can see that the console password is there that is activated. So these are some tasks that we need to complete and then permissions and uh, after that, we have to see that what are the groups here. So, user groups. Here we can see there are three groups uh, that is EC2 admin, uh, S3, uh, EC2 support and S3 support. Three users are, uh, three groups are there. And if you can observe here that there are nothing, no user is associated with those groups. Means that the groups are there, but no user can uh, perform certain tasks that are in this. Uh, group. So, uh, uh, if you want to see the permissions, for example, if we open this admin and here we can see the permissions. So, uh, here we can see what this uh, group can perform. So, permissions. Here we can we have JSON files that are having some policies defined. So these policies are uh, actions, resources and effects. So uh, what is the effect? 
on which resources and which actions it can perform. So for this uh, group, basically this is EC2 admin policy. So here it can describe the EC2, it can start the uh, EC2 instance, it can stop the uh, EC2 instance and it can monitor uh, using the CloudWatch. So these are certain uh, services this user, uh, that this group can perform. Uh, likewise, we can see this is S3 support. S3 support permissions here we can see that uh, this is having allow actions are get list describe lambda get and object lambda means that only uh, S3 relevant like uh, instances it can see uh, buckets it can see and only that uh, no other operations can be performed like uh, it's read only it means that we cannot write on these S3 things. The same we can see for the EC2 instance, this is also read only, if you can see here. So uh, here, it, uh, what are the policies? The policies are uh, get security policy group for VPC, elastic load balancing, and then uh, get metric statistics and all, uh, auto scaling, describe, uh, uh, can be done, but not the uh, perform the things. Many, many operations cannot be performed, but only read only, we can see that how it is happening. Right, so these are user groups. So, uh, next thing that is assigning the users to the security group. So, the, the, the task is business scenario is user group is uh, responsible for S3 support, user 2 is responsible for EC2 support, user 3 is relevant to the EC2 administration or the admin. So, we have to assign the users to the S3. So in this task, basically what we are going to do, we are going to open the user group and then we are going to choose the group and then we are going to add the user. So for S3 support, we are adding S3 support, add user, we are adding user 1. We are assigning actually user 1 to that group. So that user 1 is added here. Uh, again, for the EC2 support, here we can see that user 2 should be associated with that. So, add user and then user 2 is associated with that. And for user uh, EC2 admin, here we have to add the user 3. So, all 3 users are associated with those groups now that can be observed here also previously that was 000, zero, zero but now here we can see users 111 is associated with that and if we click on that we can see the ac2 admin is having user 3 uh, ac2 is having user 2 whereas this s3 support is having user 1 so we have completed all these tasks and we also observed that user groups now having some users to perform some things. Task 2 that is uh, use the IAM sign in URL. In this task we will test the permission of each IAM user. So task 2.1 is uh, we have to see the URL, login URL and then uh, some informations or some data is given here in these resources that administrator password is there, instance uh, ID is here, region is here, S3 bucket uh, is here, whereas uh, user password is also here, right? So first of all, we have to log in as different IAM users. So what is that? We are having user 1, user 2 and user 3. So for that, we are going to go for the dashboard and here we can find out sign in URL for IAM users in this account. So by clicking here, we will uh, get copy of this URL and then we have to open a new incognito window and we have to copy. Basically, it will uh, create, it will uh, connect another user to the same uh, AWS, right? Uh, AWS account. So uh, the user, IEM username. Here we can have we have this uh, user one. So we have to copy this one. And 
and we have to uh, paste this user1 into I am user and then the password that is given here user password and then we can paste it here uh, sign in so we will be able to uh, connect to this account with another uh, user one that is shown here right so here we can see different uh, of, we can we can see the limitations of uh, this user for example user one that was relevant to uh, s3 support uh, read only support uh, only right so in that case uh, for example if we want to see ec2 operations so open the ec2 uh, and if you want to do something here we will not be able to because we have limitations right so api errors everything we cannot do anything here likewise if you want to see uh, s3 that was read only so s3 uh, we can read what is there in the s3 so for that uh, we are having these three s3 buckets so we can see further the details of s3 buckets but we will not be able to uh, add data we will not be able to uh, perform different operations so that is the limitation for example in this case uh, we want to add something here uh, upload the file it is trying to upload but it will not be able to complete because that is read only so likewise uh, we can see we can we can sign out from this account now or we can go for the switch role it is it is a bit better one uh, okay uh, switch might not work here uh, but uh, we can go we can sign out and then uh, we have to take the link again from the dashboard and then we can log in as another user user 2 that was user to, and we have to take the password that is uh, already given here so we have to paste it and sign in now uh, we are login as user 2 that has read only permissions for EC2 right so for example if we want to see S3 here uh, we will not be able to see anything because they don't have it doesn't have any permission to see s3 resources right so we are unable to uh, user one was able to uh, but uh, user two is not able to perform anything on the s3 because its permissions are only relevant to ec2 so ec2 now uh, it can perform it, it can see ec2 instances but cannot perform, initiate or do anything there, right? So it is also having some limitations here. Now switch to the user 3, sign out, the same procedure, we have to see this URL and then we have to log in again as user 3, meanwhile copy the password. So, user 3 and then the password and then login as that, right? Now we should be able to see the EC2 instances. We will not be able to do anything with the uh, S3, but we will be able to do something uh, on the EC2. So, EC2. Right. So at least we have uh, instances for the management only. We can we can do uh, certain things, right? So uh, let's go back to sign in at user two as well as we. Uh, 
we can see user 3, we can do the instant state, menu and all these things but obviously uh, no instance is working, it is initiated so we are unable to uh, see its, its, its status, alright. So uh, here you can see that with the user 3, uh, the instances are there. One thing to consider that is very, very important that your AWS and uh, your user that are in the same region. Right here we can see that the region is AP Northeast 1. So here, previously that was different. Uh, I have changed it to Tokyo AP Northeast 1. So now I am able to see uh, the instances right so now here we can see the instances are there and then uh, we can see its state uh, if we click it here then we can see its state we can start we can stop we can reboot we can terminate right and, and we can carry we can uh, perform different operation of the uh, instance so uh, right so uh, we can see that uh, uh, EC2 admin user 3 is actually EC2 admin so we can create add remove or whatever right so here if we want to uh, sorry here uh, if you want to stop the instance currently it is running so we can if we are able to stop the instance so uh, so as we can uh, perform uh, the operations now so it means that user is able to perform different uh, actions according to permissions that are assigned to that specific user group right so that is uh, the completion of the lab uh, so we can uh, stop the we can sign out this user and also uh, we can uh, sign out the main user also right and then we should end the lab so that completes our whole uh, steps of this lab one thank you very much for your time and the understanding of IAM policies and uh, assigning of users to different uh, groups right thank you very much